Adventures with Dawn. Getting ready to take off on a five day adventure to Reno, Nevada. Hopefully with five days, I can find at least something decent to photograph. Might even swing over to Virginia City, go to the Virginia City hat makers, have them spruce up my hat a little bit. Let's get everything packed. Let's hit the road. Well, we made it, Reno, Nevada, biggest little city in the world. The downtown isn't quite what it used to be. It's a little bit more run down now, and a lot of the casinos have closed. But there's still the uh, Silver Legacy and the El Dorado, and Circus Circus is behind that. And inside the Silver Legacy is this structure. I really like how it looks, the lighting, and it actually spins and turns. It's really cool to watch. We also went to the National Automobile Museum in downtown. It used to be the Harris Collection. And what I read was Harris tried to get cars that were either the first off the assembly line or the last off the assembly line, or a car that was only one or two left in the world. It's broke up into several different galleries, from the first cars ever made, and goes all the way up into the early 60s. There's also other cars, which included maybe the first ever electric car. There's also the Batmobile from the original TV series, which was really cool to see. For a train enthusiast like myself, I have to go check out the Union Pacific Main Line that goes through the middle of downtown Reno. Of course, they built a trench back in 2006, so it's not as easy to see them. But they're still there, just gotta look. Well, not everybody got to play the whole time. Diane actually had a conference, a school transportation conference. Sure are a lot of nice, shiny new buses there. And everybody's selling anything and everything that has to do with school busing. Even got to go drive in some electric school buses the wave of the future. Yep, we made it to Virginia City. And while there, we stopped by the Virginia City hat maker, where Diane wanted a new hat. The owner, Pascal, is here making her brand new hat from scratch. Only took him about an hour and a half, and I think it turned out great. He even freshened up my hat, just like I had hoped. Really happy how it turned out. A really nice guy. If you need a hat, this is the guy to go to. Fort Churchill is a Nevada State Historical Park, a short ways off of Highway 50 near Silver Springs. This army post was established in 1861 with an average of 200 soldiers, but then it was abandoned in 1869. I imagine you had to really make some officer mad to be sent here, as it's really in the middle of nowhere, which the video clearly shows. A lot of the buildings are gone, and the remaining ones are kept in a state of arrested decay. I was hoping to get a shot of the Milky Way above one of the buildings while I light painted that building. 
The whole time we were there, we didn't see another soul. So without any interruptions, we had all night. So this will be the building of choice. This one right here. Apparently it was a mess hall back in the day. So if all goes well, we'll light it up a little bit and the Milky Way will be right over the top. Hopefully these clouds won't interfere, but hey, we'll find out. Well, sure enough, the clouds were an issue. They just didn't want to go away. They'd open slightly and close right back up, but never go away. You can see a cluster of stars up in the upper left. That's the Milky Way. But that's about all I could see of it. So you just do what you can. Try to get a good photo with what you've been given. I actually like how it turned out. Hope you do too. Great trip to Reno. Thanks for watching.